But uh, uh, just before I let you go, so uh, of course we were talking about tough crowd, uh, the tough crowd with Colin Quinn. One of the big legends from that show was, of course, the great uh, Patrice O'Neill. Uh, sadly, uh, he died way, way too young, and I often think I'd love to know what he'd have to say about like people like Juicy Smollett or whatever his fucking name is. I don't know. Uh, you know the, the, the black guy that, that made up the hate crime? Oh, Jesse Smollett, yeah. Oh, Jesse? Is that his fucking... Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, so uh, I was wondering if you had any uh, Patrice O'Neill uh, stories or memories and have you been involved with the Patrice O'Neill documentary? Yes, I, they interviewed me for the Patrice O'Neill documentary and one of my favorite... So with Tough Crowd, so Tough Crowd was a... Uh, Back then, being a woman was even more interesting because it's not like it is today. We have more power nowadays or more ability to, to insert ourselves. But back then, what would happen is all the guys had, they had a regular job, all the guys on Tough Crowd. They got paid a regular salary, and they were there every week. So they were, they were able to build a camaraderie. They knew that they had a job. With the women, they would circle us in and out randomly. So we never had the the to be able to get our legs we didn't have that same strength that they all had. So it's the same idea. It's like women are in the minority. So not only were we in the minority, but we were, we never had the strength in the settlement of being able to get a paycheck all the time. We were always like going in with five guys and us. So it was it four guys and us. So it was always four guys most of the time and one woman. So imagine that. Imagine them all hanging around every week, have, being completely comfortable, getting a paycheck, and then we have to come in and, and be the only woman. It was it, it literally like a dog fight. Comedy dog fight. So anyways, so I learned very quickly not to fight them. I learned very quickly, don't fight them, because then I came across as a woman who was like, eh, 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 eh. and there were four of them, I was never going to win. So I remember one time, I, when I got the moment to get the zinger in was when I, I would sit there the whole time and wait and wait and wait. And so uh, they, we used to have the fourth act. So we had the opening act and the two uh, round discussions, and then the end was the fourth act, and we would talk to the camera. So when I was preparing for my fourth act one time, uh, across the uh, teleprompter, it said, Sue Costello's flat ass. And I said to the producer, what is that? What is that? And she goes, oh, you're not supposed to see that. I go, what is that? And she goes, that's Patrice's fourth act. And I was like, Patrice wrote a whole fourth act about my flat ass. I go, I'm going to fucking get him. I'm like, I'm going to get him. And it was when Colin had us standing up. And I was like, I, the whole, my whole mission on the show was to get him. And, uh, and they were talking about how women were turning into men. It was already starting back then. They're like, women are trying to be like men, la, 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 blah, blah, blah. And I knew not to say anything because I would have just fell back on me. So I just waited. And I go, what are you talking about? I go, men are, tra are uh, turning into women, too. Patrice is transforming into Aretha Franklin right before my very <laughs> eyes. And Patrice fell over. And it was like my favorite time of my whole life. I was like, I got him. <laughs> 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 he used to have a hard time not, like, falling out laughing with me, which was a great compliment. And also, he was a very, very big black man. And I'm a tiny, tiny little white woman. And they would always see us together. So that was one of my favorite moments with Patrice was, was when I got him and I didn't. So you see how we have to navigate, how women, we have to do all this navigating before we step in because otherwise we, it's almost like a, a video game. Being a woman in the comedy world is like a video game. Uh, well, I never played video games because I'm too stupid. You are? Uh, so dumb. Really? I'm glad you at least admit it. <laughs> 